everybody, it's Miss Donna. And February sensory play is all about the bath. We're going to make some paints that you can use, and we're going to make some soap dough that is so much fun. And I'm going to show you a little trick with shaving cream that if you don't have time to make the others, you can do this one really easy. And we're trying out a new camera system, so let me know what you think. Here we go. Now, I'm going to have some kits with instructions and some samples that you can come by and pick up at the library. It's a first come, first serve basis. So if you don't get them, you're still okay. The directions are all here, but they look like this. You're gonna get a little tub with this wonderful soap dough. Now this one was made with finger paint, washable paint, and a little sample of the soap paint. Now the soap paint, these were made with the true food coloring dough, so they're a little brighter. And I also mixed these right in here instead of a bigger container and a brush. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to make the paint. You use a quarter cup of any kind of shampoo, bath wash, any of the baby ones, whatever you like, whatever makes bubbles, um, if you have the bottom dregs of a bottle and you want to clean them out, that's all you got to do. You're going to put your quarter cup in a, in a container. I'm using a clear one here so you guys can see for sure what I'm doing. No, no, I don't have my spatula with me today, so excuse me for using my finger. But, you know, we're making soap, so it's all clean. <laughs> all right. Then you mix in about a quarter of a cup of cornstarch. There we go. Let's see. Just any kind of cornstarch is fine. Now, I'm going to use the back side of a paintbrush to stir with. You can use a spoon. That's up to you. This is kind of a fat paintbrush, and it works really well. Now, if you were wanted to color your whole batch, you would add your food coloring now while we're mixing this up. I'm going to stick with plain coloring here because I want to show you different ways that you can color it. And you just stir and stir and kind of scrape your sides, scrape the bottom of your bowl. Okay, there we go. Now we want it to be, you want it to be thick enough to stick to the paintbrush, but not so thick that you can't actually paint with it because we haven't added the water. Now, you're going to add about a half a tablespoon of water. Okay? Because the first mixture you have is your dough that we just are making. All right, here we go. And look, we're even getting bubbles. So you know it works. Now, that's a little thick, I think, for paint. So let's add a little more water here. If it's too thick, you add a little more water. If it's too runny, you add just a little more cornstarch. Oh, that's better. That's much better. There we go. You would be able to paint. My granddaughter did this this weekend to, to make sure it all worked, and she loved it. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of this, and we're going to put it into, I have a paint dish. Now, you can put this into small containers. Uh, you can also uh, put it in if you have plastic baby food jars. That's about the amount it makes, however you want to do it. Or, like I said, if you want one color, you can color your whole batch. Now, here we go. We're going to do one with the food coloring. And it, believe me, it only takes a drop, maybe not even a whole drop, if you're just coloring the small amount. There we go. And the same thing if you have your washable paints. You're just going to take a ooh, small amount. What I did was I used what was in the lid. And I just put it on my brush. Make sure I really don't want that. 
and did it like that. And you just stir it in with your paintbrush until you have the color that you want. You can go darker, lighter, and just stir it up. And then they are good to paint on the tub. With that one, and now we'll show you the other one. This is the food coloring one. About the same kind of coloring. They both wash off just as easily on your tub. Now remember, if you do have your little ones helping you make this with the food coloring, it does tend to get on your fingers. It does wash off eventually, but it does take a little bit of time. So that can be the difference in the two. Now, as I was showing you your recipe earlier, before you added the water, you basically had made your dough, okay? You use a quarter cup of the soap, a half a cup of the starch, and then a teaspoon or a little more of coconut oil. Now, I used the solid coconut oil, melted it for like 10 to 20 seconds in the microwave and used it that way, or if you have liquid, it works just as well. Now, I made this batch last night. As you can see, this is a triple batch. And then I made, just used my fingers, scraped it across, and I made a ball here. And I'm going to show you how to color it. i got to get it out of my fingers. Okay, there we go. Okay. We're going to color. This is about the amount that you would want to give them to play with in the tub. And we're going to color it ourselves here. Okay, are you ready? We're just going to put a little drop in here. All right. If by doing it this way, you're going to get kind of a marbling effect with your dough. There we go. There comes the color. And there you go. You can have, a, you can do it lightly and it will have marbled or you can keep going until it colors the whole thing kind of like I did on that one. You want to give them about a small ball, about a tablespoon in the tub. Or the one thing that I found that you can do with this, if you have older kids that are washing their hands all the time, if you have a small airtight container, you can put this dough in it and set it by the sink, and they can pinch off a small dough and wash their hands. Because the minute you put this in the water, it's going to start bubbling up, and it'll be washing their hands, and they're having fun while they're washing those hands over and over and over that we have been all been doing for the last several months. And this is a new way. Also, if you happen to have one of these small containers, which are just the condiment containers, if you seal it tight, maybe stick it in a baggie, drop it in your diaper bag or even in your purse. You go out someplace to the restaurant, out to the park. You've got instant soap to wash their hands with and no mess. It's just that simple. All right. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the shaving cream. Not all of us have shaving cream, but you can get these at the dollar store, dollar, any of those. Really inexpensive. Another neat way to make, well, maybe if I can get the lid off, the lid doesn't, there we go. I'm using a silicone muffin pan. Same thing as we were doing earlier. You just take your paint, put it into your dough, your, excuse me, your foam, and you're going to have paintable soap just as easy a lot quicker than the other one say you don't have time you want to mix this up or you're out of it fast bath maybe this is an easy way to get a lot of the same stuff that we were just doing without having to do all of this you can do any of this especially the dough with the kids let them do the working of the dough just like you do with play-doh works great Younger ones can do it too. So that's all I've got for you this month. I hope you guys have lots of baths. And I hope you have a lot of fun in the bath. 
You can also probably use these when it gets warm and do them outside, not just in the bathtub, but it's a fun way to get clean and not always do it the same. This is Miss Donna. I'll see you next month. Bye.